Welcome back. Welcome back to the Hot Takes. And uh, I don't know if you watched the last one, but Tarshil had an outrageous take. So we're just going to leave it there. Go check out that video. But next up, Aman. Yeah, I don't know if I can match that madness from Tarshil, but here's mine. I strongly, from the bottom of my heart, after everything that's happened this season, believe, not just believe, I'm convinced, Chelsea win the UCL. 100%. <laughs> They yeah, this the season, game. this, this season. season, under Lampard, Bro, he's this already, year. he's already. Man said, "I'm convinced." <laughs> it's not even a knockout competition for him, bro. <laughs> no, I know it. Bro. Listen to me. I, I'm not just being emotional as a Chelsea fan. Yeah. I have facts. I have things that will convince you, right? Bro, it's right a right Champions right. League. It's knockout. Yeah, no, so listen to me. Listen anything to me. can happen. Chelsea are twelfth, right? In the league or 11th. I don't even remember where they are. I'm tired Probably of watching 20th. these games at this point. <laughs> I think they're 11th, yeah. That means they have nothing to lose. All they have to focus on is five games this season to win that Champions League so that they can qualify for it next year. We have a new manager. The last two times Chelsea won the Champions League, they got a new manager in the middle of the season. It's happened again. All we need to do is win the two legs against Real Madrid, win the two legs of the semis, and win the final. Yeah, yeah. How are you listening to him with such straight faces? If you don't lose, you don't lose. <laughs> all you have to do, bro, Champions League is... No, no, it's, it's all they're focusing on. And, and on top of that, Lampard's primary role coming in is to yeah. decide who to keep in this massive squad and who to let go. So these players are literally fighting for their careers. They have At the moment, all you have is the Premier League and you're, you're not even drawing games, bro. You're losing consistently. <laughs> That's How can you think. say you're going to win the champion? You're facing Real Madrid in the quarterfinals. Do you realize? If you get through, you're we facing the, the winner of Man City and Bayern. We beat them in the semis, sorry, not the quarters. We beat them in the semis. We beat City in the final. A City team that was so powerful. Why can't they do it again? Dude, it's dude, two dude. legs. You're paying. Oh my God. Let me oh tell you. God. Okay, firstly, for your point that you only have this to focus on, do you realize Real have lost the La Liga and they only also have to focus on Champions League? I mean, do their players have as big a point to prove as Chelsea's players right now? Literally, if Havertz doesn't perform, if um, Pulisic doesn't <laughs> perform, if Sterling doesn't perform, they're going out in the summer window. Sure, they have to fight for their careers for the rest of the season. That's Lampard's primary role to just pick that, who stays. That's been the case for players like Havertz and Pulisic for yeah. like every single they season. If Chelsea, they have if Chelsea were themselves. on the other side of the draw with Napoli, Benfica, Benfica and Inter, <laughs> AC and Milan, you would still not make it to the final, bro. No, 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 hey, hey, hey. No, I think no. If they want, it's possible, man. Come on, don't, don't, don't be like that. Come on, I, I still man. think it's not as wild as shot. I don't think it's that wild as shot. You, you, I, think I agree, they have an outside chance, but the way, but this yeah. is a hot take, and he's saying yeah. he's convinced. They're gonna win. There's a difference. Like I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting two dollars and betting that Chelsea win the league because I know the returns would be mad. But like he's convinced, bro. No, but dude, Chelsea, yeah, yeah, yeah. you realize the Champions League is next week. Does form even matter to you? Look at uh, Napoli, look at Real, look at City. Everyone's in top form right now. Real, but Benz, have you seen the guy who Shiriz used to call Benzo Fatty? Look at him. Look at where he's reached. He's going to destroy that back line of Cucurella, bro. Bro, we, I'm telling you, Havitz is going to make it to that final and score again. And then all of you, all of you will look let's, back to this video. Let's, let's just ignore this season for okay, now. Okay. okay. And, and, and next, yeah, next year in the Premier League, where do you think Chelsea finish? Next year, it depends on the manager we get. It depends on how we okay, build this You get Nagelsmann or uh, Luis Enrique. Yeah, so if, if that manager gets a good preseason and that manager figures out his best 11... The manager gets 200 million over the summer, uh, gets uh, a great... Pre I mean, is there before preseason and has all the time in the world. Where's Chelsea finish? They finish, finish at worst, at worst, they finish third, if that happens. And at best, they'll be fighting for the Premier League. <laughs> Do you realise it's the Premier League, bro? At worst, my man. At worst, they fight for third, at if we get a is, decent manager. At worst, it's third. Why, why? So, you think your squad's going to gel in really well and you have a clear starting eleven, probably sign a good striker, etc., etc.? Yeah, no, Chelsea's problem right now is they have so many players they don't know who to play. If the manager can come in and figure that out in preseason and he can figure out 11 to 15 players that work and then just let everyone else go, we don't even need to sign anyone. We have a squad <laughs> ready. All we need is a manager who can find the right combination and get these players to play together. And Look, for I, now, can, I can back that for next season because you're not in, the in short Europe term, next season. With the amount they have to prove and the amount that's at stake with them not qualifying even for the Conference League, I really feel like they can win the Champions League. I'm not even joking. And this, and okay, yeah, and and my question to you will be: If you win the Champions League, Fat Frank five years contract. 
<laughs> no, Frank leaves. Frank's job is to take after winning the Champions League. Nah, 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 nah. You're gonna sack a guy who after winning the Champions League, bro. Yeah, because right now it's not about it's not about long term building. Right now it's just about survival for this club. Survive, so survive, survive. Everything they have. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the guy wins the Champions League for the team that we least expect at bro, this stage. Bro, your strike force is Kai Havertz, who's clearly not a striker, and uh, Felix, who's not at all a goal scoring or prolific goal scorer for any team as a striker. You're playing at times a 4-4-2 and you're facing Real Madrid who have the the best spirit in terms of even coming back or like second legs of Champions Leagues. It, bro, after you beat, even if you beat Real Madrid, like let's say you, you cruise through Real Madrid, it's Bayern and City, bro. The depth those teams have, you can't match. Right? Yeah, you yeah, just we've beaten City no, 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 before Chelsea, we can beat no, them no, again. Yeah. Have they have players, Fofana, but they don't have the chemistry yet, bro. Like, they just depth, have a lot of names. Yeah, that's for guys. I wouldn't call man. that depth. What did everyone and, say when Chelsea and City were in the Champions League final last time? What did everyone say? City are no. going to steamroll them. They destroyed PSG. They're going to destroy Chelsea. What was the score? Bro, your attack has never been in worse form. Outside bro, of Felix and Hamilton. The worst attack Madrid. winner was leading the line for and us when we won the Champions League. Dude, dude, the thing is, yeah. City, yeah, we know they joke. When is the last time you've seen Real joke? We beat them in the semis that same year. What are you talking about? They weren't the they weren't that strong as they are now for sure. But you had two kill as well. <laughs> Bro, City. That's what I'm yeah. saying. New manager. It's like no, now you have the manager you sat. Of the season with, a point kill, to prove. <laughs> with a point to prove. So Lampard's come to finish what he started. What? He played the group stages that year. This year he's playing the knockouts. He's come to it's finish not what he started. Any award ceremony where ever just gets Amal, Champions League medals. Bro. In theory, in theory, that's great that these guys have to prove a lot. Yeah, they they will put their all, but their all is nothing compared to Real. <laughs> wait, wait, I have a question. I have a question. If Chelsea win the Champions League this season, does Tuchel also get a medal? I think so. So Tuchel gets a medal. Lampard gets a medal, and then Potter. <laughs> Yeah, Bruno Sartre gets, uh, gets a medal. This guy Potter Potter gets a medal. Won against Milan. Potter, <laughs> Potter yeah. gets a medal. Bro. It would be crazy. It would be crazy if we were to come back. Yo, like, the you know, scenes if they win my, the my prediction is well, I believe it. I believe. Real are going to cruise through by for like me, six two on aggregate, bro. Now for me, the I, I, I know they're going to give a fight. Yeah? I know Chelsea are going to put up a very good fight, and I strongly believe they'll win. That's what I'm saying. For for me, the biggest question. Is is why sack Potter now and get an interim in when when the performances were clearly improving? Yeah. Southampton was the game he should have been sacked against Villa. They were the better team. I think they were very unlucky to, to lose that game. Very mm-hmm. unlucky. That John McGinn shot like nine times out of ten, it doesn't go in. And then the other goal, they can see also it's just like you know they just yeah. it was like one counter, like it just happens in a, in, in a game of football. I, I think Chelsea were very unlucky to lose that game and then they sack him on the back of that. So for I me, think I think it's the, cha- just the performances... shambles, bro. If they win the Champions League somehow, bro. Yeah, like Look, I thought if, if they sacked they, Potter. They're in the good, nah, that's what I'm saying. That nah, if they sacked bro, Potter you said you're convinced. They in, <laughs> I'm convinced. They're, they're going to If Chelsea, Chelsea got Nagelsmann or win. Enrique right now, if, okay, not Enrique, but uh, because I think Enrique has a specific style of play which take time to get implemented. But if if Nagelsmann got in right now, because he also uses a back five system, I think Chel- if he, if he said like he's convinced with Nagelsmann in charge, I might have had like been more inclined to believe him. Yeah, but bro, uh, bro, bro, bro. I, I really don't point get point why you like... sack Porter and get Fat Frank in. Who you and sack, then you like say you're going to win the Champions League with Frank, bro. Bro, look, so we're all going to look like idiots if it happens, yeah? But <laughs> you are. Not, I, said you can happen. Happen. I said it can happen. I said it can happen. I said it's not the wildest shot. Okay, I'm saying fine. They have no, an outside like chance. It. But he's. this is his hot take that they are, they are going to win the Champions League. They're going to win. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah, yeah, like, bro, I'm telling you yeah, on yeah. record right now, when they win, all of you are going to regret. Bro, it'll be like Leicester win. That's why it's... But that's why it's a hot take, isn't it? Like this is this is what you call a hot take. No, yeah. Dashiell had done the last bit, bro. I have like five. This is good. Really, it's a good example. Of you to make in front of you to convince you. I think. I mean, I think I'm right. yeah, let us yeah, know yeah, in the yeah. comment section what are the odds of Chelsea when they're winning the Champions League. And, uh, <laughs> make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. But that was Aman's hot take. Uh, see you in I the next video. Manu will win over. Uh, Manu winning the league is higher than Chelsea winning Champions League. But yeah, let's continue.